Central Karakoram National Park Urdu, Mayani Kraker Malibag is a national park located in Skardu district of Gilgit Baltistan in Pakistan. It encompasses some of the world's highest peaks and largest glaciers. Internationally renowned for mountaineering, rock climbing and trekking opportunities, it covers an area of about 10,000 sqkm and contains the greatest concentration of high mountains on Earth. It has four peaks over 8,000 meters, including K2, 8,611 meters; Gasherbrum I, 8,068 meters; Gasherbrum II, 8,035 meters; and Broad Peak, 8,051 meters, and 60 peaks higher than 7,000 meters. Topic: <laughs> Features. The Central Karakoram National Park is the highest national park in the world and the largest protected area in Pakistan. It covers about 10,557 square kilometers, 4,100 square miles in the Central Karakoram mountain range. It varies in altitude from 2,000 meters, 6,562 feet above sea level to the summit of Shigori K2, the world's second highest mountain at 8,611 meters, 28,251 feet. There are three other mountains over 8,000 meters, 26,247 feet, Gasherbrum I, 8,068 meters, 26,470 feet, Gasherbrum II, 8,035 meters, 26,362 feet, and Falchanri Broad Peak, 8,051 meters, 26,414 feet, and 60 mountains over 7,000 meters, 23,000 feet. The park also includes the Baltoro, Panma, Biafo and Haspar glaciers and their tributary glaciers and is considered to be one of the most beautiful national parks in Pakistan. In 2013 it was stated that the exact boundaries of the park were unclear because, 20 years after its formation, the park still lacked a management plan. At the time of its creation in 1993, four coordinates were provided to delineate the boundaries of the park. The International Union for Conservation of Nature put forward a proposed management plan in 1994, but that was not approved at the time. A management plan should cover all aspects of the park including such things as forestry, mining, other natural resources, tourism, grazing land and waste management, and without an appropriate plan, the park could not be properly administered. In February 2015, a management plan for the park was finally established, following a year-long consultation period with stakeholders and local communities. The plan covers 10 sectors, wildlife, vegetation, aromatic, medicinal plants and non-wood forest products, pastures and livestock, agriculture, mining, water, tourism, local communities involvement and research. The park is divided into two zones, the core zone, occupying about 7,600 square kilometers 2,900 square miles, comprises the mountain peaks, glaciers and high-level mountain areas, and their fragile ecosystem, the buffer zone comprises around 3,000 square kilometers 1,200 square miles of mainly lower-lying areas around human settlements where unsustainable activities take place, and corridors providing access to different parts of the core zone, a study of the size of the glaciers in in the park, made using Landsat images over the decade 2001 to 2010, shows that the ice cover is substantially unchanged. This demonstrates the fact that the Karakoram region is bucking the trend for glaciers to retreat that is happening elsewhere. This is known as the Karakoram anomaly. Topic: <laughs> Ecological zones. The park has several distinct ecological zones, each with its own natural vegetation which is closely related to the climate and topography. In general, the area has low precipitation and experiences humid westerly winds. The villages are in the valley bottoms where wheat, maize and potatoes are grown, and pomegranate and apricot trees thrive. The lower slopes consist of alpine dry steppes. They have gravel and moraine soils and support sparse grass and scrub. The Sub-alpine scrub zone is found beside rivers and streams, in gullies and ravines. It consists of bushes and small deciduous trees and provides browsing for livestock and wild ungulates. Higher up there is the alpine meadows and alpine scrub zone, which has high pasture and open coniferous forest and is only available for grazing in summer. 
Above this are permanent snowfields and cold desert areas which occupy the 4200 to 5100 meters (13780 to 16732 feet) zone, and here there are isolated patches of stunted grass and hardy low vegetation. Topic: <laughs> Flora and fauna. Some valleys are dominated by communities of West Himalayan spruce, Himalayan white pine and Pashtun juniper, including some pure stands of P. smithiana. Smaller shrubs and plants associated with these communities include C. wormwood, Astragalus gilgitensis, Fragaria nubicola, Geranium nepalensis, Kashmir balsam, Thymus linearis, white clover, Rubus irritans, Taraxacum caracorium and Taraxacum affini. On some east and south facing slopes, common sea buckthorn is the dominant shrub, often associated with Berberus lyceum, and on some east facing slopes at higher altitudes there are communities dominated by Rosa webiana and Ribes orientale. Other herbaceous plants growing on the sparse grassland, especially in gullies and ravines, are Salix denticulata, Mertensia tibetica, Potentilla desertorum, Juniperus polycarpus, Alpine bistort, Berberus pachyacantha, and Spirea lysioides. Larger mammals found in this region include the Marco Polo sheep, Ovis amin poli, the Mark hor, Capra falconeri, the ibex, Capra ibex, and the ureal, Ovis orientalis vignae. The snow leopard Panthera uncia preys on these, and also on the pikas, hares and gamebirds found here. Other predators include the mountain weasel Mustella alteica, the beech marten Martes foina, the brown bear Ursos arctos, the Asian black bear Selenarctos tibetanus, the Turkestan lynx 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 isabellinus, the red fox Volpes volpes, and the Tibetan wolf Canis lupus filchneri. The number of bird species present is low. The robin accenter Prunella rubioides and black-throated thrush Turtus ruficalis overwinter here and vultures birds of prey rosefinches Carpoticus spp Himalayan monals Lophophorus impigenus and Goldenstatt's redstarts Phenacurus erythrogaster remain throughout the year though they may move to somewhat lower elevations in winter There are 3 species of lizard in the park but no amphibians Topic Climbing Expeditions come each year to this area of the Karakoram to ascend the massive peaks, climb rocky crags and big sheer rock walls, and trek. Most expeditions visit the region in July and August, but some come as early as May and June, and September can be good for lower altitude climbing. One celebrated climbing area is Trango Towers, a group of some of the world tallest rock towers, situated in the park close to the route used to trek to the K2 base camp. Every year, a number of expeditions from all parts of the world visit the area to climb these most challenging granite towers. <laughs> 